I, I work at a grocery store right now for part time. And we have hey, this I'm lady coming. Because I work in this, like the meat like, department. Like, even this is okay. in the fourth man Discord. Like, if you guys ever. Okay, okay please continue your meat department story. I just had okay. something happen, but please continue your meat okay, department story. Okay, so we story. have this lady coming to the meat department. Okay. And she's asking for okay. grass-fed chicken. And I'm trying to explain to her that chickens don't eat grass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. She asked for fucking grass. Wow, grass-fed chicken. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I get some grass-fed fish, please? Do you guys have any yeah. of that? Well, like, well yeah. technically, if you call It's called like, kelp, you yeah, scrub. It's, it's kelp. <laughs> First off, thank you for being so polite with each other in my Discord. I honestly am surprised at how nice- This is what happens when you don't beat your children. Never mind. I don't even remember what I was going to say anymore. Never mind. Anyways, I sure am glad that I made a video about how godlike the 10A was, only to have it nerfed in less than 48 hours. So unfortunately, pulling off something like this on a consistent basis is not going to happen anymore. The funny thing is, apart from the 10A and the Martini Henry, which were both smashed with the Nerf Hammer, it's the gadgets and the grenades that are in balance, not the guns. Now you guys know that I don't really care about balance, I'm just a huge fan of cheesing with anything that's outright silly to you, so I'm shocked that they didn't touch gas. Seriously, I spam this sh so much, I'm willing to bet that I have more kills and more points from gas than I do anything else. Yeah, call me Biggie Cheese, because I'm in love with the mustard. Gas. Mustard gas. Wait. Wait, I... I don't get that one. Gas, as in mustard gas. Cheese, as in mustard cheese. How does that not make sense? I still don't get it. Why are you eating my ice cream? It's not ice cream, it's actually a frozen Oreo roll. And I think it expired in April, but it's still really good. Oh. Does this mean I'm gonna die or something? Not only are a large percentage of enemies too slow or too preoccupied to throw on a mask while you're spamming gas, but you're also limiting them to hip fire, which massively reduces the range in which they can kill people. If I were to draw you a diagram of the percentage increase in being sniped in the dome while wearing a mask and surrounded in gas, it would be off the charts. And on top of that, the gas lingers there for so long. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how many cases I've had where I throw it down and I get kills with the respawn screen like 20 to 30 seconds later later. I think the obvious issue is the number of nades that they give you, like we can keep pretending that immediately having access to two gas grenades on spawn isn't laughable, but whatever. I got the fact that you can run grenades as gadgets too is even more laughable, like you want a broken class, throw on medic, equip a grenade launcher and gas, spawn in, launch all three of your nades, which is basically a guaranteed kill. Toss your gas and you're pretty well always gonna get at least two kills during that life. Revenge is a dish, best done. Kaboom! Now the way that I counter gas is by no scoping with the AT rocket gun and I've had a thrilling streak of luck recently where I'm just aiming at a player off in the distance. Only to blast away a different enemy that happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you guys know that my favorite thing in the game is to hit someone in the face with an AT rocket shell, not only killing them with a headshot, but killing their buddy with splash damage too? Hint, explosion damage is reduced and prone. Diving away could save your life. Oh, okay. I guess it's a little late to tell that guy. And for once, I was finally on the receiving end of one of those blasts that killed both myself and a teammate, and it's 100% more frightening than you might expect. Right in the face. Another straight-up cheese tactic that will never be nerfed is the combination of smoke and spotting. Now, you guys probably know how powerful spotting is. Like, it should go without saying that if an enemy has a giant red dot above his head, he's probably going to get tagged with a Martini Henry round within about 10 seconds. But if you can manage to conceal your teammates in smoke while also spotting the enemy, it's pretty damn dangerous. 
I think a perfect example of how effective spotting is can be seen with the sandstorm. Like, you guys know that I'm awful with iron sights, depending on the weapon, but if you're also throwing sand in my eyes and mouth, I'm gonna be even worse. So it should be no surprise that anybody on Tanai Desert that gets spotted is immediately lit up like a Roman candle. And in case you haven't noticed yet, I'm addicted to the M1903 Experimental for the Scout class. And for those of you that don't know, it's the only non-bolt action rifle for the Scout, and I've fallen in love with it because of how spammable it is. I'm sure many of you are frustrated just watching me, but it's at the point where I know full well that I should be aiming down sight, but spamming the hipfire with 41 rounds and randomly using the bayonet is just too much fun. I'm just thanking my lucky stars that it exists, because it means that I won't have to use a bolt action on the long, painstaking journey of unlocking the Calibri by getting Scout to level 10. Do a flip! I also wanted to say that I'm so proud of these newer players that are finally joining squads. Like, just look at that. All of the squads are full. Apples, butter, cupcake, Dorito, and enchilada squads are all, that's so impressive. Now, of course, it is important not just to join a squad, but also join the right squad. Like, if you want to play as a medic, you shouldn't join a squad full of medics. Join a squad that isn't full of medics so you can work together and roll over scrubs. Just don't expect the squad of randos you join to always have your back. I mean, it's not like I joined this squad, glanced over at this guy's gamer tag of the Enron CEO and thought, oh yeah, I bet he's trustworthy. I'm sure I can count on him to revive me. Also, can someone tell me how ratings work at the end of operations rounds? Because I'm so confused. Like, here's a perfect example. Okay, we crushed these guys. We pummeled these guys into the ground and on a scale from 0 to 33, we got negative 136 and we got a minor victory. What? Okay, here's here's another one where we did okay. This was the okay defense. Okay, there's 100 out of 27. There's 300. Do I see? I see 400, 500, 600. Is this just gonna keep going? Or is it gonna... St okay, I guess it's just gonna keep going into the stratosphere. It's not even gonna end, but... I guess anything is possible when you have Pepe the president-elect on your team. And that's about it. Be sure to tune in next time when I actually have giant shadow gameplay because I was up all night making this video and I haven't even played it yet. <laughs>